federal judge has ruled Missouri's Second Amendment Preservation Act is unconstitutional. Right, that's the law that went into effect in August 2021, which prevented local law enforcement from enforcing federal gun laws. In his decision, the judge wrote, quote, while purporting to protect citizens, SAPA exposes citizens to greater harm by interfering with the federal government's ability to enforce lawfully enacted firearms regulations. And we know there's a lot to this, so we wanted to unpack it for you. I did a little bit of digging today to try to better explain what this ruling means and what's coming next. First, you have to understand the law itself, which basically says Missouri doesn't have to adhere to federal gun laws, and any local agencies trying to enforce those federal laws can face a $50,000 fine per violation. Supporters of the law, including Governor Mike Parson, have said it protects Second Amendment rights. But critics, such as Mayor Quentin Lucas, have said it makes it harder for local agencies, such as police, to do their jobs cracking down on gun violence. Our police department being able to work with federal officials to get a, a drug dealer off the street, a gun trafficker off the street, that saves lives. And anybody who stands in the way of that is frankly just committing a bunch of BS. Again, under the law, only federal officials could enforce those gun laws without any assistance from local law enforcement agencies. So say there was a federal task force looking to crack down on illegal guns in Missouri. Under the current law, those task forces couldn't get help from federal law enforcement to enforce the federal gun laws. And as I learned when I sat down with the U.S. Marshals Service for an unrelated story last month, they often work with local agencies who might need help serving warrants. But as a spokesperson explained to me today, a lot of those local agencies pulled back when this law first came out because of the confusion it caused over what they could and couldn't do. We operate a task force here in Kansas City that we have uh, state and local agencies that are a member of. And we're such a small agency to begin with, we couldn't do our fugitive investigation mission if it wasn't for our state and local partners. So how did we get to today? After Governor Mike Parson signed the bill into law in 2021, Kansas City, Jackson County, St. Louis, and St. Louis County all filed a lawsuit. Now, the judge hearing that case, U.S. District Court Judge Brian Wimes, has ruled the act violates the Supremacy Clause. That Supremacy Clause establishes that federal laws take priority over any conflicting state laws, meaning all Missouri agencies can enforce federal gun laws. As for the Missouri Attorney General, he says he plans to appeal the ruling. He released a statement that says in part, quote, we are prepared to defend this statute to the highest court and we anticipate a better result at the Eighth Circuit. Today we also reached out to Governor Mike Parson. So far we are still waiting for a response.